In the previous lecture, I discussed the limitations of Audacity EQ effects. Audacity lacks the ability of EQ sweep. EQ sweep means you adjust the curve and listen to the audio at the same time. You can see the filter curve EQ is open, and I can not play the audio. It is not possible to adjust the EQ and listen to it at the same time. For other audio effects, there are some configurations to choose from. But EQ is configured by adjusting and listening at the same time. Some guidelines exist about which frequency range to boost or cut to achieve certain results. But to follow that guideline, you have to adjust and listen to the audio at the same time and make a decision. All this talk means you need a good third-party plugin that has the EQ sweep capability. I would suggest a couple of plugins with such features. My favorite is FabFilter Pro Q3. It is a paid plugin but offers a 30-day free trial. If you learn proper EQ techniques, this 30-day trial will help you find an appropriate EQ for your voice. You can adjust the EQ and listen to the audio at the same time. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean up audio recordings using Audacity, you have to know some basics about the audio data. FabFilter Pro Q3 shows the frequency spectrogram as you play the audio. It gives us some hints about which frequency is strong or weak. That information can be used as a guide. But the ultimate decision depends on how it sounds when you make a change in a frequency range. You can download the 30-day free trial from this website. I will give the link in the lecture description. No credit card is required to install this free trial. FabFilter EQ also works seamlessly with Audacity, so I strongly recommend trying this. The FabFilter EQ is a paid plugin, so after 30 days, you would need a different solution. You are watching a preview video of my advanced Audacity course. If you want to access the full course, you can get it from this Buy Me A Coffee page. I have made a bundle offer of Advanced Audacity and Beginner's Audacity course. If you want to learn Audacity step by step, the Audacity Beginner's course is for you. If you already know some Audacity, Advanced Audacity will give you the necessary skills for professional voice editing. I will link the bundle offer in the description. You can also purchase the course separately if you want. I would recommend you to check the course curriculum and have the things you are looking for. If you have any queries, please feel free to send me an email. I would suggest another plugin with EQ sweep capability. TDR Nova is a very good option as a free plugin. You will not get the live frequency spectrogram, but you will get the EQ sweep option. I think it is a good free option. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing. You can download TDR Nova from this website. Once again, I will keep the link in the lecture description. One thing you should notice is that it is not available in Linux. You have to use this on a Windows or Mac machine. The last option I want to show is the Ozone 11 EQ plugin. It is an isotope plugin and free, but does not work well with some Audacity installations. It actually does not work with my Audacity. I am using M1, based MacBook Pro. It is unfortunate that I cannot use this free software with Audacity. If I try to open it in Audacity, Audacity crashes. But still, I want to show you this as this really a fantastic free option. It is as good as FabFilter Pro Q3 in terms of EQ ability. Of course, FabFilter has many robust features in their EQ plugin, but for generic purposes EQ, Ozone 11 Equalizer will work excellently. Ozone 11 works perfectly fine with Adobe Audition. It also works with DaVinci Resolve. If you are using other DAW than Audacity, you can use this excellent equalizer. Download the plugins I saw you in this video, and we will learn about some excellent EQ techniques next.